Hey guys, welcome back to another video brought to you by Danais Electrical Services. In today's video, I will be answering the question, which calculator is the best calculator for engineering? I will speak more specifically to electrical engineering because that is my discipline, but I will give you some general information as it relates to all form of engineering. So throughout my years as a student, this is my history of calculators. I start with this one here, then I move on to this one, and then the final one is this bad boy right here. So this is the calculator that I start out with in secondary school. It is the Casio FX-A2MS. This calculator can do your basic mathematics. This calculator can do your basic physics. This calculator can do your basic electrical technology. This calculator is a good calculator for anyone who wants to do basic calculations in secondary school. As you get more advanced later on in secondary school and you start to come across complex numbers, you're going to need a calculator like this. Because in engineering, in the early stage, you're going to work with a lot of complex numbers. You're going to need to convert from rectangular form to polar form and vice versa. This calculator is good at doing that. So, I think this calculator is a good calculator for anyone who is doing engineering other than electrical engineering. Because this can do the basic calculation as it relates to engineering. Right? This is the Casio FX115ES Plus. This one you can find it on Amazon, I think, for less than $40. If you can find this exact one, you can find one that is similar to it. This one you can find on Amazon for less than $20. Now, as I get more advanced in electrical engineering, and I've not seen anyone from any other discipline that needs to buy this calculator. I only noticed that it is needed in electrical engineering. This is the Texas Instrument Inspire CX2 CAS calculator, right? So, for anyone who is doing electrical engineering, you're going to definitely need this calculator to work with your simultaneous equations, to work with your matrix, and to work with your quadratic equation, and so forth. But please note, this is considered as a programmable calculator and you can't use this calculator in all examinations. It is only allowed in some examinations. So these two will go hand in hand. You're going to need these two calculators to do electrical engineering. This to do your basic electrical engineering calculation and this to do your advanced electrical engineering calculations. Those matrix, those quadratic equations, those simultaneous equations, this is the best calculator for that. This is like a computer, right? You can do almost anything with it. And you can also connect it to your computer, right? I don't think I've used 1% of the features of this calculator. I almost call it a computer right there, but <laughs> it's like a computer. One thing I love about it, it stores all your history calculations so it's easy to recall them. You can copy, you can paste, you can do all of that. But as I said, you can use this in all examinations. So the answer to that question is you're going to need these two calculators. They both complement each other. This one you can find it on Amazon for I think the last price was 170 US dollars. I also went ahead, I don't, I'm not sure if you can see, but I went ahead and also bought a screen protector for mine as well as a case because it's very expensive so I need to protect it at all costs. So there you have it guys. So this calculator is good enough for engineering. These two is what you're going to need for electrical engineering. and you will have it easy. So there you have it guys. This was another video brought to you by Danais Electrical Services and for more videos like these please feel free to subscribe to my channel Danais Electrical Services. Thank you.